Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Well, I've rested up and made it a new moon. Um, you could do a full moon, but I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so I only did it a couple of times. The new moon is arguably better anyway. You could go either way. It depends on whether you want, you know, black magic upgraded or big throw and uh, dance. Did I learn those bands last time? Yeah, I did. Okay. Cool. So, here in the self cave, uh, once again, the damage tiles do not work. Uh, these guys, we're just going to use fire uh, on them all. Can I get a dance off? Skeletons are easy enough, just use Fyra. They're dead. Simple enough. Get the spider silk. Get the potion. Can't get the other one. We want to go south now. Should be some stairs down here. Oh, these guys, they're weak to ice, so we want to use Blizzara. They counter with uh, Toad, I believe. I don't know, I just one-shot them. But I'm pretty sure they do. They didn't base FF4. So I think they do that here as well. They're pretty rare. I usually don't fight those guys. At least I didn't fight them when I tested. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the damage tiles don't work. And this area is designed to... Do has two separate halves, just like at base FF4. This area is also completely uh, optional, by the way. Could have gone either way, by the way. We just want to get to these stairs. Either way to loop around there. Mm, okay, this guy. We're going to do Fyra. We're going to let that get off because it's going to heal the souls. Although I think I probably can one-shot them. But yeah, we want to use Dancing Dagger. That should kill the blood bones. Yep. And get a couple of Dancing Daggers going. I figured the Dancing Daggers would one-shot them. But just in case it didn't, uh, I didn't want, you know, Rydia healing them for actual HP. But, you know. Phoenix down, Echo Herbs, and there should be some clown clothes in here. There we go. Let's see. I want to give that to Brina. Eight speed, and you give the clown clothes. And wow, 28 speed. <laughs> Holy cow. How much speed does that have? 20? Wow. Yeah, that's a ton. There's very few things that give you plus 20 of any stat. The reason why I want to give it to Brina, by the way, uh, it's because Dance is actually good and Jive is not. We want to go here, I believe. Uh, right here? Is that right? Yeah, I want to bypass those stairs. No, we're correct. Uh... Yeah, I went into these stairs. It's the other stairs we bypassed. Let's see. Go east and then south. Oh, yep, more. Uh, I'll show you how dance works here. Oh, heal dance. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Get a big throw going. Get a dancing dagger to thin these guys out. Ooh, haste dance. That one's really good. Yeah, it's haste on everybody. Yeah, dance is really good. I, I, I like dance a lot. Actually. There we go. That'll finish them off. But yeah, I mean, there's so many things that dance can do. It can uh, it can cast Kiraja, Kiraga on the whole party. It can cast uh, Kira, Kira on the whole party. It can blink the whole party. It can use Shell uh, and Protect. I no, I think it's just Shell. I think it's just Shell Dance, yeah. Uh, 
she might be able to do protect as well on the whole party. I don't know. Shell's the one I care about. She can revive the whole party, use, uh, use something else. Uh, Asuna, the whole party? Yeah. yeah, that's what she can do. So yeah, I mean, that's why I'm not buying any healing items because I just, I don't see a point. You know, it just doesn't matter. I'm not gonna bother with big throw because, well, Luca can't one-shot the uh, souls. Trust me, she can't. Even with powered up big throw. I mean, I might as well select it, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so dance is uh, fantastic. It's why uh, Breen is actually a okay character. Oh, nope. Gargoyles. Oh, by the way, I'm using the dancing daggers by going into the item menu, going, hitting up, and then you can select the item. And the reason I'm using them as actual weapons in combat, or items in combat, is because they're just much stronger than they are physically attacking, even from the front row. Uh, the Losing the dancing dagger as an actual item was, does better. If you do want to use the dolls long term, then you might want to eventually put them in the front row, but you know, <laughs> I don't plan to use them long term, obviously. That was a tent. Oh, this is a race. This guy's technically new. I was gonna edit this out, but no, no reason to. Dancing Dagger. Of course, we're also going to go ahead and get Fyra. I think Big Throw can actually one-shot one of these guys. Nope, I'm wrong. But, well, uh, eh, Fire alone probably would have been enough. And there we go, we'll get that. I want to fall in that hole now. Did I get that? Ether? Yeah, I did. I just double checked. Uh. Nah, we'll, we'll just murder these guys on screen. <laughs> I hate when I get into a battle like two steps after the last one. It's really aggravating. But whatever. I need to thin out some of these guys here. I don't know if uh, Big Throw will work. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, it can kill the skeletons. I thought so. Big Throw is long range, by the way. It's just I can't put Luca in the back row because, well, I can't have more than three characters in the back row. Can I fall through the hole now? Thank you. Get uh, some chests there. Awesome. Go here, enter the tile. Should be four chests here. Ah, the mighty horned helmet. Uh, let's see, 17 strength. Equip that on Luca, we get 20 strength. Not a multiplier yet, unfortunately. She needs 24 strength to get that, but I mean, it's better. She loses some intellect and spirit, but pff, who cares? You know, a mithril knife. You could give that to one of the twins. Uh, it's effective against like those wraiths, but and then you would lose the uh, dancing dagger. So I don't think that's worthwhile. So I wouldn't bother with that. Oh, Rydia can equip it, but who cares? It doesn't. It doesn't uh, do much. Um, we're gonna go back and heal up at the town here so we can take our second trip in. You could go to town and buy the uh, Tamra and buy, you know, the second, another silver armlet, but I wouldn't bother doing that. We're gonna find one. If you didn't get one for Brina though, absolutely go buy one at this point because you'll have plenty of money for it. Okay, I'm back. I just went and uh, changed the moon phase to a new moon. 
You could use a full moon for Ridius Black Magic instead if you're feeling lazy, but eh, new moon I think is technically more optimal because Ridia usually one shots anyway, and well, I like powering up dance. Oh, tiny mages? Uh, what do I want to do for these guys? I, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, just dancing daggers. By the way, if it's not a new moon, you can uh, just have have um, Luca attack. I don't know why the dancing daggers do so little damage to them, but who cares? It still kills them just the same. This time we're gonna go south to be to uh what we're gonna go here. To be one here. Got a save point, which is like the most useless save point ever, because we're right near the entrance. I don't know why we uh have one there. Whoops, I don't need to switch over to Brina. Oh, more tiny mages. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, wow, that didn't kill you? That's shocking. Um, we'll have Rydia kill... Okay, well, apparently Rydia couldn't attack there. That is utterly shocking. Try that again. I don't think I've ever seen a Dancing Dagger not kill them. That should do it, though. Yeah, there we go. That was really strange. I just got a really low roll, I guess. That's how we get that chest there. Back to the save point. Nope, oh, we got a Basilisk. Uh, same thing, just Dancing Dagger. We could use any sort of tier 2, but... We'll just uh, save our MP for the um, undead that are actually weak to it. I don't think a basilisk had any weakness. I could take a look though. No, no, he didn't. I think he could stone you, but I mean, he dies quickly enough. Should be some stairs here that we want to bypass. Yep. Yep, Togers again. These guys I want to go ahead and use Lazar. I think I fought these guys earlier with their cousins, the Gigantoads, but same thing when you encounter these guys, just Blizzar all. They counter if you don't kill them, so I'd rather not be toted, thank you very much. Uh, there's a dagger. For some reason, you didn't want to just buy them. They're so cheap, though. I don't know why you would care. I mean, for the dancing daggers, you know. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could take this path first to uh, get the dancing daggers. But eh, I'd rather not do that. I'd rather just buy them. That's a phoenix down. I'm going to take these stairs. Oh, we got Doma Voice. Not much to these guys. There's so many of these guys that I'm gonna cast uh, any Thunder, any Ara. I'll do Thundara. I would never cast Jive, by the way. It's just so useless. It really is completely useless, unfortunately. Should be a silver armlet. Nope, that's a high potion. There's the silver armlet. Obviously gonna give that to Kalka. These guys again. I did it them out, but I'm just gonna one-shot them. If Rydia gets her turn. There we go. You could use any Aura, doesn't matter. 
they're just goblins and dumb boys. They're super weak. That was more of them. Uh, yeah, even doing an aura on all six of them, they'll still die in one shot. And the secret passage, I think. Yeah, we have to loop all the way around the secret passage, which is annoying. Should be a cockalore number nine. Yep. Now we're going to those stairs. There is still something else that we want to use with the cockalore, by the way. Something else we want to make. We just don't have the the you know necessary item, or the amount of uh. of cockalores. The problem with Jive is that there's so many different status element moves that basically either do nothing a lot of the times, or when it is an attack, because so many of them are based on the current HP you have, Kalka has like the second worst HP in the entire game. Only Brina has worse, uh, meaning his attacks are just terrible even when you do get a good one to roll. So yeah, if you, Kalka's only real use is uh, his basic attack or Dancing Dagger. He's terrible. He's easily the worst party member in the game. Uh, let's see. We want to keep going. Should be a house coming up. Should be the Sylph's house if, I, if you remember right from the first game. But we can get Cockalore number 10 first. It's right there. But not before one more. Oop. Uh, here, let's use Fyra. And let's thin out these souls. I guess we'll attack. Yeah, as you can see, it does the same damage as Big Throw. Actually, Big Throw does a little bit more because it's powered up right now, but it has a little charge time, so... But with the new moon, it, it's irrelevant. Two more chests. We get a mage's robe and a healing rod. Both of which I want to give to Pretty. I don't think the healing rod does anything. But I might as well give it to her. It gives you some spirit, which who cares, but it's slightly better. Mage's robe, that does give her some intellect. Yeah, there we go. And spirit, but I don't care about the spirit. I think it gives her spirit. Does it give you spirit? Yeah, it does. It's worth it. Also, there's a self here. Still worried about Yang, apparently. Well, that's not good. No, no, we can't, like, rest up in the bed or anything. There's nothing else here. We're done. Now, before I forget, because I'm going to if I don't do this, I want to move the stop spell to the top of Bridia's inventory. Or inventory? Uh, spell list. And we want to go ahead and go to Tamra, and we want to purchase the final silver armlet that I care for. Could have bought it earlier, you know, between trips, but eh, Riddy was doing all right. I didn't feel the need to go to Tamra. No, oh, that's the forge. I don't want to go there. Here we are. I forget if we find one in the uh, sealed cave, but I have plenty of money. In fact, I could literally look that up. No, I guess we don't. But whatever, we have plenty of money now. So I would definitely buy it. And do I see anything about the moon phase? Full or noon? Um, I'm gonna make it a full moon because there's some high HP enemies in there. Mainly those doors and potentially the monsters that could come out of them, although we have a good way of dealing with them. 
I might change my mind for a new moon. I don't know. You could go either way. I'll think about it between episodes, but for now, I'm going to set it to a full moon. And then we're going to save and call it a day. Next time, we'll go into the uh, sealed cave. So yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for uh, hanging out. And I'll see you next time when we go to the sealed cave. Take care.